Welcome to the first garden tour of this year, which I'm super excited about. We've had some pretty big changes, so stick around to the end. Hi, I'm Sarah, and welcome to Lori Farm. So this used to be greenhouse number two, and this year what we decided to do with them is we put this poultry netting on them to keep the chickens and ducks out, and it's worked really great so far this year. Um, why don't you come on in and see what we got going? So this year what we decided to do was just zucchini in here because that seems to be the big problem with the ducks is them getting in there and tearing it up. And last year we had really great success with zucchini and yellow neck squash. So we did plant those. I planted them every other this year. Um, if you remember last year, I planted them in every single hole that I had cut and they just became overgrown and it just became way too much work. Oh my God, there's so much in here. Uh, so greenhouse number two where I have my peppers, um, my yellow neck squash, which I have pruned back I think four or five times, but because of the climate in here, they just keep coming back and overgrowing our beautiful walkway that my husband added into these greenhouses this year. So this year we did every other and they are growing fabulously. Coming along nice. They'll sprout up here pretty quick and uh, start fruiting. So it's gonna happen fast, but they're doing good. Got some more good ones right here. Now we're over in greenhouse number one, and in here I have some tomato plants and some cucumbers. We did that a little bit differently than last year. We maximized the space. Last year we just had a table that filled half of the greenhouse, and this year we took that down and we put tomatoes there. So I'm really excited to see how well they do. In greenhouse number one, we planted um, the beets and green beans, and they did amazingly well especially since we had such a late start because we didn't know what we were gonna do when the greenhouse was destroyed over the winter. So I was a little hesitant when we um, started growing back here, but the beans really took off and did an amazing job. We have harvested out of here two, three times a day with the amount of beans and beets. So this is my tomato side, and surprisingly enough, even on some of these smaller plants, they're actually already starting to fruit. So that is very exciting. I can't wait to get that first bright red tomato of the year. There's nothing better than a garden tomato. And on this side, I did a ton of cucumbers in here. We have um, the English little muncher ones in these two right here, which are doing fabulously. I have just your regular cucumbers over in this one. And then at the very end, I have some pickling ones and all of them are sprouting up and doing nicely. It's been minimal weeding so far. Looks like I need to get in here and do a little bit more. But so far it hasn't been that much, which is my favorite thing about um, planter box gardening. And this is Chaos Garden. If you watched it last year, you saw just how crazy and beautiful it got and just filled with a bunch of vegetation. Chaos Garden. So this was an experiment from the beginning. I didn't think it was gonna be as amazing as it turned out. I got my sunflowers that I wanted planted, which are attracting a ton of bees. They're all over the sunflowers right now, even as I'm talking, just pollinating away. But they're looking beautiful and amazing. I didn't think that they would get this far because we planted this so late in the season. But we have gotten yellow neck squash, a couple baskets of beans already, and um, dill, so much dill, and cilantro, rosemary, even snap peas we found in here and are still finding a ton. I think we'll be able to harvest out of here probably for the next month for sure the way things are growing. And kale, I've had a bunch of kale. Um, the corn, I think we'll be able to harvest in maybe a month or so. That's growing really, really well. And then pumpkins, oh my God, the pumpkins. This so made me so happy that the pumpkins were doing so great because again, we lost so much of our yard due to pond stuff that I was pretty sad about not having all the pumpkins, but I think that chaos has definitely made up for the pumpkins. They are just taking over and looking amazing. And if you would have told me back when we did this that it was gonna turn out like this, I would have said you were nuts. Um, this year we already planted it. We have way more than last year, so I'm super excited to see how everything grows this year. 
If you look real close, you can already see a lot of it coming through. It looks like a lot of weeds, but once everything starts sprouting through and taking over, we did a lot of squash and pumpkin and sunflower. It should choke out all of the weeds like it did last year. And it worked out great last year and we planted probably double and we actually expanded Chaos Garden a lot bigger than it was last year too. So I'm super excited to see how this turns out. And if you look closely, you can see we got radishes coming through. We have squash already coming through. We have sunflowers coming through. We just have a hodgepodge of everything. So it's really exciting. Last year, I had a small pumpkin patch, which was right around over in here. Pumpkin patch is doing amazing. It's a pretty perfect one. They're not ready to pick. You can tell when they're ready to pick when the green stem turns um, tan or like a light brown and then they just kind of pull right off the vine. So this one's looking good. It'll probably be ready to pick, uh, I'd say probably October 1st, which is good. And that was because we had this ginormous dirt pile that took over all of my pumpkin patch because of a pond restoration that we had going on. So I am so excited to have my pumpkin patch back and I went a little bit overboard with seeds because like I said, I love pumpkins. That this year I just filled it with a variety of pumpkins and squash and things are already starting to sprout through and I'm super excited to see how well it's doing. It is a little weedy, but usually with our pumpkins, they sprout through and take over because they get so big that the weeds just kind of die off, kind of similar to Chaos Garden. So I'm really excited to see how this does this year. I definitely think that next year we should do about double the amount of planter boxes and get started earlier. What I was super excited about was how well it did. The tomatoes grew really great. I wish I'd have kept up on the pruning a little bit better. Something for next year. The carrots, I would have spaced out a lot more also. as they kind of choked each other out. But we still got some really great carrots. The kids still love them. They're just, you know, baby carrot size. Still delicious though. Also, um, I would do definitely more planter boxes and hopefully next year we can get the back greenhouse built up, which will give us even more space to put more planter boxes and also have another growing area, which would be amazing. So the biggest change we had was the permanent greenhouse, which you can see right here. It is gonna be nice because we don't have to worry about the plastic ripping and weather and stuff like that. It is just old windows that we collected and Shane turned it into this beautiful greenhouse which I'm super excited to show you and how we maximize the space in there as well. In this planter box I have beans going and in this one I have carrots going and they seem to be doing pretty decent as you can tell. They're sprouting up nicely and then over here I have my potato plants, potato plants which have just gone massive. I actually hilled them today. Um, and they're growing and they're doing really great. I'm super excited to see the harvest on these. And right behind those, I have more carrots growing, which you can't really see because they're underground. <laughs> and then in these last four, I have beets in these two. I have beets in these two, tomatoes over there, a couple different varieties. And then over there, I have our onions, walking onions and garlic chives, which are sprouting through nicely. So I'm excited to see how those go. Well, as you can see, I got myself quite the uh, collection of windows and doors here. And what the plan is, is those are gonna be put in our brand new greenhouse uh, that we're gonna be building, a permanent greenhouse. So basically the greenhouse, how it's gonna work is uh, you're gonna go through the gate and you're gonna walk down the center aisle and you'll go straight to the back greenhouse these two tall pillars, if you've seen them in other videos or wondered what the heck they are, they're actually the two front supports, uh, corner supports for the greenhouse. And basically the greenhouse is going to sit right there on the back of the planter box garden. And the entire front is going to be made of glass windows. The side's going to be made of glass windows. And the entire roof is going to be made out of corrugated plastic. But let's get into that greenhouse. So one of the main things with this greenhouse is the amount of planter boxes we've added. Um, we have four on the outside, on this one right over here, if you follow me. We just got this planted today. 
and I put some asparagus in here. I'm hoping that they come back every single year so we don't have to do much with this box. Um, but it's gonna be it's gonna be pretty good. I'm excited to see how they do. And we have these front two boxes right over here. These are both gonna be green beans, so they still allow light in to what we have going on on the inside of there. And you can see some of the green beans sprouting through. These boxes took some time. We had to put uh, branches and a lot of compost in and then a ton of dirt. But we finally got them in. We got our beans planted. This one got planted first, so it's starting to sprout a little bit. And this one right over here, we just planted today, so that's gonna take a little while for them to sprout through, but I'm really excited to see how well these do and just how much less weeding I'm gonna have to deal with. These are gonna be a huge game changer and a time saver for us. And this is the other side and the planter box we have going over here is rhubarb which i'm really excited for because this is another one that we won't have to keep replanting just like the asparagus they'll come back every year and just kind of get bigger and spread and it's going to be a lot less work because i don't have, i won't have to deal with much weeding on these either but when i do have to weed it is nice at their hip height so i'm not bending over killing myself when i'm out here gardening two of these plants i did go buy at the store um, this one we had, but Shane mowed. That's why it looks like it got mulched up a little bit. To be fair, he didn't know it was there. So after he mowed it down and made it look like this, we came up with the idea of putting them back in this planter box because it's one of those things that as soon as you plant it, you don't have to deal with it. And where we had it obviously wasn't a good spot because he didn't realize it and mowed over it. Now follow me inside the greenhouse. Um, you might notice these beautiful doors my husband got from a friend. They are gonna work fabulously and they're just gorgeous. You can come on in and see how far we've come this far. So we have this indoor planter box, which we filled with different peppers and the peppers are actually starting to grow really well. We actually have some little peppers sprouting through on some of these plants already. So we did four pepper plants in this one and then we did four over on the other side. And these ones are coming along nicely as well. And it's going to be a lot easier to weed again because I don't have to hunch over as much because these are raised beds. So they're going to be easier to maintain and a lot less weeding. We also put this one in here too and we got this planted today and I put some cucumbers in here and we're hoping that it kind of vines out through the lattice fencing. This is going to really maximize the space and give us that much more gardening. Thanks for watching our first garden tour of this year. And if you wanna see how far we've come and how many things have changed, check out our other videos right here.